Good afternoon. Welcome to Green Bay Southwest's commencement ceremony. If everyone who is able could please rise for the singing of our national anthem. Today, today we are joined by members of the Green Bay Police Honor Guard who will present our nation's colors. Please remain standing until the Honor Guard has retired the colors and has exited the Crest Center Arena floor. Thank you. You may now be seated. Hello. My name is Madison Gibson, and I will be your mistress of ceremonies for today's event. It is a huge honor of mine to welcome, to every, welcome everyone to Green Bay Southwest's commencement ceremony. On behalf of the class of 2019, I would like to thank you all for being here. It is my pleasure to welcome the family members, friends, and alumni who are here today. I also want to welcome my fellow classmates and the faculty honor guard sitting in front of me. 
Thank you to everyone for gathering, gathering to celebrate the commencement of Green Bay Southwest High School's Class of 2019. I would like to begin by speaking about the beginning of my high school journey and how I ended up here in front of all of you. I distinctly remember the first day I walked into Southwest High School as a freshman. It was possibly the most terrifying, yet exciting, day of my life. I walked in clueless, I didn't know where I was going, so I wandered around the halls, completely lost, trying to find my way to science class. A group of senior guys passed me as I was frantically trying to read classroom numbers and hallway signs. They were six feet tall with full-grown beards, and I thought to myself, I'm going to school with these people? I mean, think about it. I was a five foot tall, scared freshman girl. Those guys were pretty intimidating and I was definitely not going to ask them where to go. I finally found my class and the rest of the day dragged on. About halfway through the day, lost in the hallways again, I overheard a group of people talking about how high school goes by so fast. I began to think, how does eight hours a day five days a week, for four years, even have the possibility to remotely go by fast. I was wrong. High school does go by in the blink of an eye. And now, here I am, standing on this stage, four years later, in front of all of you, still five feet tall, but less scared. Days in high school got easier, and days turned into years. Senior year went by the quickest of them all. We began applying to colleges and planning for our futures. We all experienced lasts and had to say some hard goodbyes in order to say hello to the bright future beaming ahead of us. We had to say goodbye to our last football game, our last school dance, for some of us, our last time playing sports and the last time performing on the auditorium stage, our last day of high school, that one was an easy goodbye. And sadly, one of the last times we will all be sitting here together as a class. We learned to appreciate all of our teachers, friends, parents, counselors, and anyone that pushed us to be a better version of ourselves. Not only have we learned to be better students, but better people. As this chapter in our life closes, it's time to open up a new one. Thank you to everyone who helped us get here. After 13 years of school, we did it. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Our next commencement speaker is the voice of Southwest, Carlin Gons. Carlin will be attending St. Olaf College in the fall, and she is planning on majoring in the math or science field. Good afternoon, Southwest. I am humbled and honored to have the chance to speak to parents, family and friends, faculty, and this great class of 2019. With that honor comes an amazing amount of responsibility. When I decided to write the speech for this ceremony, my nerdy perfectionist self took over. I would have to do research so that my speech would be flawless. The first person I consulted was my mom. She gushed with enthusiasm and excitement. She told me what a brilliant writer she thought I was, and then went off on a tangent about how the past 18 years have just flown by. I can still remember the day you were born. There were so many babies in the hospital, and you were the most beautiful baby. I rolled my eyes and politely listened. It was obvious that I needed help from someone who wasn't wearing mom goggles. The second person I went to for advice was my dad. Wow, what a fantastic opportunity, he roared. I had visions of Tony Robbins and Matt Foley as he handed me a stack of self-help and motivational books. A slew of be a better use statements and cliche sports analogies followed. I listened politely and wondered if he realized that I had never lettered in any traditional sports other than DECA. I needed to do more research. So the third person I went to for advice was my big brother, John Gans. He stood up here last year and did an, nah, okay job. 
<laughs> Maybe he could give me some useful advice. Just be yourself, Carlin, he said. Talk about the things you love to do and use your God-given talents. This was actually some useful advice. So, I told you the idea of giving my speech and my chipmunk voice. Or, yo podría hablar en español. Neither of these ideas seemed appropriate. Is that all you got, bro? I asked. Well, he said, why don't you just get up and tell a story, like your idol Stan Lee? Just make sure you don't get up there and accidentally use a bunch of F words, he joked. So, that's what I decided to do. Get up on stage and tell a story using a bunch of F words. The first F word is faculty. Mr. Fix seemed like an easy target for this paragraph in my story. I must admit that there were times that I may have uttered an F word that was eerily similar to his name while taking a pre-calculus quiz. But this man gave me confidence in math. Ms. Dumley reinforced that. Mr. Heimerman gave me the confidence to know that I can really write. That AP exam was a snap compared to his exams. There are too many great teachers and staff members to mention. Each one of you has had an impact. Quite simply, we wouldn't be here without all of you. As of the Voice of Southwest this year, I tried to highlight various faculty fun facts in the hopes that we could get to know these incredible people just a bit better. Thank you for the selfless hours you put into preparing us for life and making us better, smarter people. Please know that you are appreciated beyond words. The next F word is friends and family. There are many people in our lives who have helped us to successfully complete our high school journey, whether that is a parent, a grandparent, or an entire group chat of close friends. Let's take some time to thank these people today. We love you and appreciate all of the sacrifice it has taken to get us to this remarkable day. Another important F word is faith. I personally believe in a God who has given each of us a unique set of gifts and talents to be shared with the world. I hope that we all use those blessings to make our world a better place to live in, work in, and raise a family in. The class of 2019 can make a positive difference on the world. Each of us needs to do our part to make that happen. We need each other in order to be successful. So have faith and believe. The final F word is future. I haven't written about that yet. It is a blank page for each of us. I know I'm saving one page for my record-setting stint on Jeopardy and another for writing a best-selling series of novels. What will your pages be used for? My yearbook quote, courtesy of Albert Einstein, is there comes a point in your life when you need to stop reading other people's books and write your own. I'd like to challenge you to be an amazing author of your own story. Not every chapter is packed with excitement. It doesn't need to be perfect and you can always edit and change the ending. And so for the last time to end this speech, make it a great day, Southwest, and go blue. Our final commencement speaker is the president of FFA, Emily Tisler. Emily will be studying at South Dakota State University, and she's planning on majoring in dairy science and chemistry. Good morning, friends, family, administrators, and most importantly, class of 2019. I would want to start by saying one thing, sports. There, I got half of your attention by just saying that one word. And allow me, if you will, to gain the other half of the crowd's attention as well. Art, music, and academics. I think that pretty much sums it up. Now, graduations can last forever, so let's not hesitate to start. Each of us have different hobbies, interests, backgrounds, and most importantly, futures. We are here to celebrate those differences between us as well as the things we have accomplished over these past four years. I'm personally not one for sports, but we can't ignore the fact that the basketball team this year did amazing, as well as the football team last year making it to the final four in the state. Not only in sports has our class excelled, every year we have had DECA members compete in the national competition. This year we were lucky enough to have two of the members place in the top 10 in the country. 
We also had a member of our class be a state officer for Skills USA. These are but a few of the amazing things that our different clubs have accomplished. All of these actions not only demonstrate the immense impact that these leaders have on our school, but also across the state and even the nation. One of my favorite, one of my favorite movies growing up was Grease. And for those of you who know the movie, you may be able to remember the end. The principal goes over the PA system and begins saying that there may be a future Eleanor Roosevelt or a Rosemary Clooney, a Joe DiMaggio, a President Eisenhower, or even a Vice President Nixon. That same statement applies to this group of graduates before us today. Whether you are going to find the next cure as a doctor, lead our nation, or become a professional YouTuber, we are all destined to do great things with our life. The teachers, parents, and other mentors in your life have prepared you for 18 years. 18 years. They have dedicated an entire 18 years to you because they saw your potential. They saw something in you, so they made you memorize equations, formulas, dates, facts, anything to help get you through your schooling and to this point, anything to help you succeed in your next steps. And all that preparation leads you to what? Nothing. All you get is a diploma and a handshake. Your teachers, family, and friends all got you here now it's your turn, class of 2019, to take what they taught you and make your own life of it. But remember, no matter where your life takes you, you can always count on the support from your family, teachers, and friends to help guide you through the maze that is life. Thank you. Next, we will listen to Southwest's very own choir under the direction of Mr. Brandon Rockstro.
Our next speaker is our wonderful principal, Mr. Rod Bohm. With my luck, that's going to fall. All right, again, I would like to welcome everybody to Southwest High School's 54th graduation ceremony. And I'd like to congratulate first our graduating class, the class of 2019. Congratulations to all of you. Before I begin, I would like to honor and recognize some very special people that are here. First, I would like to ask respectfully all members of the armed forces, those that have served and those currently serving, along with members of our graduating class that will be serving in the armed forces, to please stand up so we can honor and recognize you for your bravery and service. Thank you for your sacrifices you've made to ensure our freedom in our hearts. Please know you are heroes to each of us. Next, I'd like to recognize a few other people. Madison Gibson is not identified in our program. She is our student body president, and Maddie is going to be going to the University of Wisconsin La Crosse, and her major is undecided at this point. Also like to recognize our awesome district leadership that is here. In a few moments, you'll hear from our superintendent, Michelle Langenfeld, joining her today, not speaking, but present today, our, our assistant superintendents, Vicki Beyer and John Magus, and our executive director, Judy Wiegand. They are somewhere here, I'm not sure where, uh, but I would like to thank them for the leadership that they provide to us behind the scenes every single day. We also have two board members with us today, Rhonda Sitnikau and Andrew Becker. They are over here, thank you. The list seems to be going on and on and growing for me. Um, you heard some of our musical performances, uh, excuse me, you've heard from some of our musical performers this evening and I'd like to thank Miss Bay and Mr. Rockstro and all of our student performers. You can hear how awesome they are. Uh, thank you for all that you have done. We have our junior honor guard who is here as well as our readers and um, Cade Milton, the proud Milton, um, is going to be our diploma assistant today. I'd like to also recognize uh, the team that I get to work with every day, Jeff Van Lannen, Travis Lipsch, and Amy Hogan. Uh, I've, I think I have the easiest job in the world because of people like them, as well as our awesome staff that joins us today. You see some of our faculty honor guard, but there's probably another 20 to 25 staff members that are supporting and, and, and helping out up in the bleacher area. So I want to thank them. They are an incredibly talented staff and each day I am proud to be able to work with them. All right, here we go. Sit back and relax for the next hour. No, just kidding. Green Bay Southwest High School, people of courageous determination and energy. This bold statement is displayed proudly above our main office doors with the hope that during the past four years it served as a daily reminder of two important elements that are required and needed to lead in the direction of success and ultimately to be your best. On behalf of the Southwest High School staff, I am proud to proclaim that these graduates have achieved tremendous levels of success by definition and through their actions. During their time, they have worked with our staff in unison to create opportunities to learn, grow, and succeed through their efforts as individuals, groups, and as teams. A few of the highlights that I'd like to share with you. This graduating class has earned $1 million in scholarship awards. That, congratulations. 
That is an awesome number. I got a few more awesome numbers to share. Over the last nine years, these Southwest graduates have earned $14 million in scholarships. That speaks highly of our staff and of our district and of our families that, um, it, that are required each and every day to support our students. We have 90% of our students are either going on to college or to the military. The other 10% have a career ahead of them. Yes. I don't typically use this opportunity to recognize an individual, but this hasn't happened in 70 years in Green Bay. This year, I believe it was Saturday, Southwest High School has the first tennis champion in Division I in 70 years, Johnny Zakowski. These are some wonderful tributes that begin to reveal the greatness of this class. The entire Southwest learning community and the Green Bay Area Public School District is very proud of each of you. And graduates, you should be very proud of yourselves. The journey to get here today was not an easy one for some of you. Some of you had to work harder than others. Some of you had some incredible obstacles every single day and you rose above them to get to the place where you are today. I want to share some personal thoughts with you over the next, not hour, literally minutes, but it, um, I want to take some time to share these with you. Class of 2019, your high school chapter within your life story has now been written and it may be used as a springboard to the next chapter of your life that begins once you leave the UWGB Crest Center with your family and friends this afternoon. It is my hope that your next chapter will have roots that are anchored in meaningful and significant lessons that you have learned through your elementary, middle school, and high school years, and that these will lead to new and meaningful and exciting growth experiences that become an incredible highlight reel that showcases your exciting successes. This next chapter also lends itself as a new time to become more mindful and focused, more caring and aware of the world, more grateful and full of grace, and that you will reveal more and more about your genius and splendor. We all hope your next chapter is full of story after story of great happiness and joy, fulfillment and success. However, there will be those times that do create challenge, hardship and exceptional difficulties. They're inevitable. During these times, you may find that you begin to question yourself, even who you are, or your ability to stay strong, asking yourself questions such as, can I do this? Can I really do this? You may feel empty, insignificant, even overwhelmed and full of doubt. Sometimes the very best we can do is just exist during those moments and survive. Others will try to offer what they feel is good advice by telling you to bury those thoughts and those emotions. But these feelings and emotions in difficult moments are a part of who you are and a part of being human and a part of being alive. We need to respond appropriately during these tough moments. These challenging moments present opportunities for growth and help us to gain strength, courage, determination, and resiliency, and so much more. And these will, trust me, enhance and improve your lives. However, to do this well, you must exist beyond that particular moment. Be mindful of your thoughts. Take a step back and realize you don't need to buy into every single thought and idea that is in your head, especially those thoughts that, if listened to, may become overwhelming and maybe even limit you. You and your potential are limitless and full of greatness and your strength and courage runs deep. Overcome difficult times by learning to push through those difficult moments, refocus and channel the energy to something positive and of significance. Gain support and confidence by leaning on and trusting in those that care and love you. These are the experiences that would undoubtedly contribute to you 
while revealing and defining what greatness and success is going to look like and feel like for you. Class of 2019, as Trojans and people of courageous determination and energy, please pr pursue what the late Stephen Covey identifies as everyday greatness. A greatness that tends to be more quiet by nature, one that generally escapes the headlines, yet is a greatness that, in my opinion, is deserving of higher honor, even more respect. Everyday greatness has to do with character and contribution. Everyday greatness is a way of living, not a one-time event. It says more about who, who a person is than what a person has and is portrayed more by the goodness that radiates from their face than the title on a business card. It speaks more about people's motives than about talents, more about small and simple deeds than about extravagant accomplishments. It is humble. After this evening, each of you will go your separate way with the opportunity to live a life of greatness and success at home, at work, in college, in the military, and in your community. No matter what your circumstance may be, such a decision can be made by each of you. You have the power to make a, tomorrow, to make a new tomorrow and decide to live a great life. Living a great life is enhanced when you find your passion, that which serves as a source of inspiration, renewal, energy. As I bring this to close, I want to share a brief quote that holds special meaning to me, and I hope it will spark something within you as well. It is called Love the Game. Some of you have heard that. When you hear the words love the game, especially game, please think of your talents, your passions, what's driving you, and substitute that passion for the word game. You can create your own meaning to the phrase. Here it is. Love the game for the pure joy of accomplishment. Love the game for everything it can teach you about yourself. Love the game for the feeling of belonging to a group endeavoring to do its best. Love the game for being involved in a team whose members can't wait to see you do your best. Love the game for the challenge of working harder than you ever have at something and then harder than that. Love the game because it takes all team members to give it life. Love the game because at its best, the tradition will include your contributions. Love the game because you belong to a long line of people who have loved it. It is now your legacy. Love the game so much that you will pass it on on your love of the game to another person who has witnessed your dedication, your work, your challenges, your triumphs, and then that person will, because of you, love the game. Seniors, you're an example of what is right in this world. Each of you have inspired us, touched our hearts, and give us tremendous hope for a brighter tomorrow. We are better people because you have come into our lives. In closing, after this afternoon, I've said this before, you will go your separate ways. I hope you will keep in your heart and carry with you during your life's journey the Green Bay Southwest Trojans vision. Together we will. Pursue learning, build confidence, demonstrate pride, create opportunities, encourage acceptance, and inspire greatness. Keeping these as priorities in your life will help you to recognize abundance, see possibilities, stretch yourself to the edge so you can be at the best for this world. And quite honestly, the world needs you, the Southwest Class of 2019, people of courageous determination and energy to be difference makers. On behalf of the entire Southwest High School staff, I would like to congratulate each of you, the class of 2019, and wish you a lifetime of happiness. Thank you. Now it is my honor to recommend the class of 2019 for graduation. Superintendent Michelle Langenfeld, 
As principal of Green Bay Southwest High School, I am very pleased and proud to recommend to you for graduation the Southwest High School Class of 2019. Records certifying their graduation status are on file at Southwest High School. They are our hope of yesterday, our joy of today, and our guarantee of a better tomorrow. Well, good afternoon and thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to share a few words before I accept the graduating class of 2019 on behalf of our Board of Education from the Green Bay Area Public Schools. Graduation, it's a time to honor, a time to recognize and celebrate the many accomplishments of the students that sit before us today. And it's also a time for parents and grandparents, families, guardians, educators, to reflect on their journey and the dreams that we hold for them in our hearts for their vibrant future. I personally want to thank each of you for contributing so much and for supporting these graduates that we celebrate today, ensuring that each of them finds their way to success for a very vibrant future. This year's graduating class represents our most diverse senior class to date. They've had the opportunity to learn with and from each other around the, about the world in which they live. They've been afforded the opportunity to expand their knowledge of cultures, gain greater understanding of different perspectives, and are better able to view their experiences in a very large, more global context. And like you graduates, I too have been on an educational journey and I've been inspired by you I have been also very humbled and honored to serve. I'd like to share three of the lessons I've learned from you, the students in the Green Bay Area Public Schools. Lesson number one. Lesson number one is to be present. Several years ago, I had the opportunity to celebrate an early graduation with a critically ill student a few short weeks before the actual scheduled graduation ceremony. And during graduation and later at the celebration of life, I came to learn a lot about this young man and how he lived. He didn't spend a whole lot of time worrying about things he couldn't control, but rather he spent his life being present, present and living in the moment. He was all about people and experiencing the world in which he lived. And his friends shared stories about how inclusive he was noting how much he valued everyone that he met, and he was always interested in learning more about them. He was kind and always the one to notice and greet the new student who was sitting alone in the cafeteria. As I think about this student and have for several years, I would offer that perhaps he lived more life than those of us who lived many more decades because he was present for others and the world around him. And so the learning that I take away from this is to be true to yourself, recognize and act upon what's most important to you, and put your focus on being present. Be present for yourself. Be present for others. Lesson number two, love for humanity. Perhaps John Lennon and Paul McCartney got it right and said it best, love is all you need. Over the years, I have been very fortunate and privileged to witness large and small gestures of love from our students, each impacting another student's life for the better. Here are just a couple of examples. I witnessed a student from Southwest High School watch another student who was falling ill at the time. Slowly, carefully, it was in a large school um, group presentation. The student just walked up slowly behind, noticing that the student wasn't feeling well, and was able to seamlessly take that student's place. Being aware, being present, this happened. And then there's the students who welcome our new to the country students, and also new to the school, and they take the time and the interest to get to know the other person. And there have been countless, countless opportunities over the years that I have seen students from all different teams 
athletics, the arts, who have always supported one another with positive and kind words, not only for their teammates, but also members of the opposing teams and groups as well. These are just a few of the examples, but the learning that I take away for us to think about is as you move through life, I would offer that these students do it with an open heart and an open mind, loving and supporting one another in the journey. And as Lennon and McCartney would say, it's easy, it's easy. All you need is love, love. Love is all you need. And then last, lesson three, overcoming adversity. I'm not aware of a single person who's gone through life without some sort of adversity, and this includes members of the graduating class of 2019. Each of the students we honor today has their story to tell about how they have personally overcome some adversity or obstacle to get to this important milestone in their life today. Over the years, I have been truly, truly inspired and in awe of many of our students who have overcome extraordinary obstacles. And we can learn from them and their stories. They are examples of courage, of grit, of perseverance and tenacity and strength, sometimes beyond imagination and beyond measure. And here are just a couple of examples. Some of the graduates we celebrate today were born in other countries, and they came to the United States. And I'm humbled when I think about these young adults that sit before us. They had to start anew, learning another language, understanding a new culture, new celebrations, learning how to do American school, and of course, learning about our weather, the frozen tundra that we fondly call home, all the while successfully achieving their academic goals and dreams. I can only imagine the adversity that some of these students have overcome. Some members of the graduating class have moved many times throughout their educational experience, and each time having to enter a new school, they have to hit that reset button, requiring them to make new friends, fit into the culture of the school, understand the curriculum while maintaining their studies, and I'm always amazed at how adaptable and resilient our students are. I've been inspired by our graduates who have overcome physical, mental health challenges, whatever came their way, but what is common and what I see among our graduates this year, the class of 2019, is that you have an undeniable spirit that the challenges that you face today and I would ex expect in the future will not define you, will not stop you from achieving your hopes and dreams for a very bright future. So the learning I take away from this is successfully overcoming adversity requires individuals to have a mindset that acknowledges the adversity and believes that any and all adversity can and will be overcome. There is no reason to accept it. Anything is possible, and you can achieve your dreams. I've learned a lot from you, class of 2019. In closing, I want to extend my personal gratitude to you for being so inspirational. My hope for you is that you're able to live your lives well, to be present, be true to yourself, and embrace what you've learned throughout your journey around, about the world around you. And my hope is that you always remember and embrace the world with an open heart and an open mind, engaging in meaningful gestures, rooted in love for humankind. And finally, my hope for you is that you embrace all adversity as an opportunity for learning, recognizing that how you frame things up matters most. I'm grateful to each of you. Thank you for teaching us these important lessons. And I'm very proud and most encouraged that you are our future. Congratulations, class of 2019. And now, Principal Boehm, on behalf of the Board of Education and Administration, it is my honor and my privilege to accept the graduating class from Southwest High School for having fulfilled the requirements for graduation set by the Green Bay Area Public Schools in the great state of Wisconsin. Congratulations.
Okay, Junior, Honor Guard, we're going to prepare to distribute the diplomas. Carlin Gans. Madison Gibson. Emily Tisler. Damian Krieger. Jasmine Aguirre. Mackenzie Arts. Sierra Besaw. Megan Bethke. Lauren Bruchart. Yewe Lahoise Cornelius. Haley Cornett. Marissa Cutlin. Zachary Delvo. Joshua Denny. Brett Dukowski. Victoria Ellis. London Freeberg. Lucas Gorzak. Malik Johnson. Samuel Knespel. Jacob Massey. Adam McClure. Reese Mosang. Nicholas Norman. Trent Piter. Hunter Pamperin. Yeah. 
Michaela Peters. Bryce Piarkey. Veronica Pigman. Brian Ramirez Perez. Emily Rutherford. Kiana Smith. Logan Sunquest. Caitlin Sutrick. <laughs> Jessica Tyson. Matthew Watier. Rosa Zahn. Kaya Zold. Abdullahi Abdi Mohammed. Abdi Rahman Abdullahi. Nima Abib. Abdi Ahmed. Ayanle Ahmed. Fertun Ahmed. Ismail Ahmed. Narwit Aki. Alexis Alcazar Lechuga. Riley Arneson. Renee Bailey. Emma Barnard. Justin Bartolazzi. Claire Batten. Jared Benter. Zoe Berkovitz. Elijah Biswabic. Jenna Baresh. Madison Burmeister. Javon Bynum. Kaylee Kale. Trajan Capel. Martina Castillo. Zach Cowenberg. John Shiro. Brendan Colson.
Keyshawn Cooper. Peyton Cornelius. Colin Kutley. Daniel Crack. Alexander Dolan. Peyton Dahl. Charles DeClerc. Noah DeGroot. Michael DeWick. Gabriela Diaz Molina. Aaron Dodge. Lillian Durst. Gage Edwards. Cameron Elfert. Layla Elmi. Hunter Elsner. Aaron Engelbrecht. Anthony Engelbrecht. Aaron Flynn. Ryan Flynn. Adrian Frias. Cole Frisch. Emily Gage. Sydney Gazella. Connor Geese. Trevor Geese. Zach Geese. Roberto Gonzalez. Kevin Gonzalez. Tessa Godlitzen. Brandon Grovogel. Mia Haberkorn. Emily Hanneman. Trina Hanold. Maya Heerden. Dylan Henriksen. Garrett Herlash. Zachary Herrera.
Abigail Hill. Armani Hill. Hunter Hoffman. James Hokinson. Nicholas Howard. Quinn Hughey. Fadumo Hussein. Abadir Ismail. Mariah Jackson. Mitchell Janice. Avery Jensen. Taylor Johnson. Elijah Jones. Alexander Kazmarchek. Haley Kawa. Natalia Kinjerski. Brandon Kent. Michaela Kintop. Darius Killspotted. Hannah Kitchenmaster. Isaac Klarkowski. Walter Kowalczyk. Megan Kreiser. Leah Kukta. Megan Kujawa. Alicia Lackey. Ashley Lackey. Carson Landry. Bailey LaRock. Sierra Larson. Elijah Larson. Shang Lee. Allison Lemons. Aaron Liang. Marco Linares. Luke Lina. Mitchell Lipinski. Gavin Litke.
Madeline Litke. Jessica Locke. Lauren McNeil. Lavinia Martinez. Dane Massey. Amanda Matashevsky. Rio Matsky. Jalen McCall. Cody McIntosh. Isabella McNaughton. Sierra Medvedeva. Aliyah Mertz. Annabelle Metzler. Kylia Mikolajczyk. Colin Miller. Robert Miller. Sydney Milton. Ayan Muhammad. <laughs> Axel Mondragon. <laughs> Nicholas Moore. <laughs> Nimu Muhammad. Abdi Muse Evelyn Naranjo Andrea Newberry Erica Novak Trinity Oliver. Abdurrahman Omar. Lorenzo Pacheco. Nicholas Palachek. Raina Parisi Jondrin. Kyle Parker. Brennan Pauls. Carlos Pedroza. Emily Peng. Jennifer Peng. Lucas Peterson. Alexis Pettigene.
Aaron Phelps. Elias Phillips. Caitlin Piotrowski. Kaya Plude. Annie Pongor. William Pitletsky. Giovanni Mar Ramirez. Megan Richardson. Caleb Roberts. Drex Rogers. Juan Santiago Martinez. Kelsey Sacido. Sydney Shabo. Holiday Schneider. Lucero Serrano Batista. Alexia Siegel. Jack Smith. Kualayu Smith. Blaine Spellman. Mitchell Starry. Lucas Steber. Logan Surprise. Jenna Tackmeyer. Trent Thomas. Alex Thune. Rafael Torres. Stone Torres. Joanna Tercios. Dylan Unland. Nicholas Valentino. Marina Van Callister. Vincent Vandalist. Grace Vandersteeg. Adam Vang. Tegan Van Geem. John Mack Van Megum. John Verstappen. Alejandro Villalba.
Michael Vivian. Kong Vu. Haley Walton. Sarah Warner. Ian Way. Brett Whiffen. Jacob White. Laura Whitney. Brianna Willicat. Dakota Winkler. Tyler Winos. <laughs> Jessica Jiang. Matthew Jiang. Sai Jiang. Joshua Yasha. Alina Yang. Lily Yang. John Zakowski. Anna Zeke. Olivia Zamanik. Alexander Zoll. Brooke Gehring. Faisal Ahmed. Faizo Ahmed. Mariama Belay. Nasra Ali. This is a proud day for the Green Bay Area Public School District and, of course, Southwest High School. Class of 19, let's make this official. Seniors and faculty, please rise. Junior Honor Guard, if you want to make your way to the front. Seniors, on the count of three, move your tassel from the right side to the left side. One. Two, three. 